something just doesn't feel right. I just don't feel great. And I started getting really frustrated and I started crying. Oh, you gotta breathe. morning you guys look at that beautiful sunshine Peter had to take the car to get some I don't know maintenance done and so he went out it ended up taking quite a while which worked out because he took his computer he edited the vlog I'm guessing he probably worked on some sermon stuff as well and I was just here at the house working on morning airway clearance and all of that it's ended up being kind of a rough day just like really not feeling great and struggling to keep my blood sugar up and I started just feeling really frustrated with like part of me feels pretty good and part of me feels pretty bad and I think that there was a little bit of just like this brain discrepancy that was like something just doesn't feel right I just don't feel great and um, I started getting really frustrated and I started crying just like that frustrated cry like I don't even know specifically what's wrong nothing's hurting specifically I just don't feel good anyway right as I started crying I was like babe I'm just gonna go lay down cuz I just don't feel great uh, anyway I right as I was sitting down one of my friends texted me and was like not doing well and it was amazing because I ended up FaceTiming her and from just talking through stuff and trying to help her work through what she was working through it made me feel a lot better and so that made me really glad it like kind of took me out of that like frustrated kind of battling with my body and my mind situation and I was able to just like help her for a couple of minutes, work through that, and then um, I ended up staying in bed because I wasn't feeling good, and now I really don't know what to do because I just, yeah, whatever. It's like I'm fine, but I'm just like real shaky. Oops, I think I just spit across the room. I just feel really shaky, and my blood sugar's fine. My blood sugar drops and I am feeling fine. I don't feel shaky, but now my blood sugar is doing just fine and I am shaky, it's very backwards. I don't even know if I said goodnight to you guys. I think Peter said goodnight to you guys last night. I was doing IVIG and I ended up getting real, real loopy, real, not loopy, uh, just real tired Benadryl, of course. So. That was the end of my night. We were watching a show, but I think I pretty much passed out. Did I like pass out last night oh, when we were watching our show? Oh yeah, you had a half hour to go on IVIG and... Oh yeah! Yeah, so... So you had to finish IVIG? Yeah, and I was like, uh, do you want to wake up and de-access? And she did. Did I wake up though? You were like half asleep. I was like half asleep, de-accessed my port, and I remember that it was bleeding. Yes. But I like, couldn't stay awake. I like had a washcloth next to me, like, oh, like hitting the blood. Well, anyway, it's done for another three weeks. Ooh. Hi, Ollie. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. Hi, guys. Good morning. Got all the car stuff done, and now I am just getting things done here at the house. But welcome to our day, guys. One of the things I did today, before I started feeling more shaky, I went through this closet. It's in what used to be the whale bedroom. It's now like storage for some store stuff. Ollie dogs. There are still Ollie, the Ollie boy stuffed animals on the store. Um, went through a lot of medical stuff. This is like my IVIG wall on this door. And then in these buckets in here, I've stored stuff like extra IV supplies, when we have to mix the IV medications and that sort of thing. We store in those bins, so I went through it all. And thankfully, over the last three years, I've kind of gone through it 
periodically and thrown away the things that are out of date and that sort of thing. So it wasn't like that big of a task, but I was able to go through everything. I do have some items that I'm hoping to donate to like an animal shelter. I tried calling a bunch of times, I couldn't get through, but I do have these organizational bins that I'm getting ready for whenever we go to the new house next. I'll bring those. And I have a feeding tube here, which reminds me that I need to, I'm gonna be changing this feeding tube out. We do it every three months, and I feel like it's been about three months. It's not like it needs to be done. It's not like um, flushing your ports every once every month, that's for sure. Uh, feeding tube change, they said that it could be like three to six months or something like that. Um, we've always done three months, so that's what we'll do. But I have that out. I have some good old 90s VHS tapes I need to take down in the basement. And um, some people have asked uh, for years to do a uh, Kinder Egg haul. <laughs> like a legit sit down and show all of the Kinder Eggs. This is about half of them. Um, my Scotland collection is down in the basement, so I'm, I've got this ready to take down there and combine the two. Those are some that have been sent to me as a gift or um, however over the last couple of years. Anyway, I went through that closet. It sure doesn't look like I went through it all because there's still plenty of stuff in there, but it, it all makes sense to me. Another thing that I need to do is deal with all of these Sharps containers. So. I will be taking those. I asked a friend, what do I do with these Sharpies containers? She said, take them to the Board of Health or somewhere in our town, like municipal building. Um, I guess that's one place to properly dispose of them. Back in the day when I used to just have like one Sharps container, but they've been, they've sent me so many over the years. Um, it used to come with like a prepaid box or something, but those don't all have that box thing. So I'm glad I can figure out where to take those. Um, I asked Lori and she said, municipal building behind the police station by the high school. You and I, you, yeah, the board of health. Um, so I looked, but they're not open. They're like already closed, but we can take them another time because we got to like, get rid of those things. And then I have a box of stuff to donate to like an animal hospital. There's one in Worcester. So I, I tried to call, they didn't answer. Anyway, I was really glad to get that stuff done. I'm just like trying to go through things piece by piece. I'm not packing it all up now because we don't need to pack it all up yet, but going through things so we know what's there so it's ready to be packed. Um, Peter had the idea that maybe we should get out of the house, maybe it'll help me feel, at least even if it doesn't change my physical health mentally, maybe it'll make me feel like more like a human because I realized I really haven't been out. Went to the hospital on Friday. I need to get out of the house. Yeah, let's go. Um, so we'll see, We're see where we go. A little half price latte goes a long way. Mm. Yes, sing the song of my people. <laughs> yes. Yes. A little bit of shopping. This is what happy dreams are made of. Happy dreams are made of this. So apparently, it makes me feel all better when we shop and, and we buy shirts for Peter. She was real into I was shirts all jazzed for up. Peter. She's like, I want you to get this for my birthday. Okay. It is a shirt for me. It's this one. <laughs> it is super soft and it's like highlighter, coral, orange. It's not really showing up in the camera. Here, can you see it? it it's pretty comfy. It's so comfy. And so. I got a flamingo shirt. And it was on shirt. clearance, so. Flamingo shirt. Flamingo. And I like, I like turtles. turtles. So these are button ups just like this one. Yep. And then another thing that makes me so jazzed, hardwood floor stuff. Um, it's like a kit. It has basically like a Swiffer but with reusable dusting pads. 
and floor cleaner for our new house. Whoop, whoop. I mean, what more could you possibly want? <laughs> Maybe since it's like you just... almost birthday week, you could already just go ahead and wear this. I could. You want me to put it on? Okay. It's, 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 it's the fry life. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love it. It's birthday month. <laughs> it is Mary's birthday month, it's so guys. It's soft. It is. Wait. How many days till your birthday? Like a week and a half. I don't know. Today's it's the seventh. So Twelve days. Twelve days till Mary's birthday. But he's gonna month. wear that shirt every, every day. Every day for birthday month. Yes. I don't know when we talked to you last. I think we were out and about, and I think doing a little bit of shopping and just getting out of the house helped uh, Mary feel a little better. But I had a busy evening. I was at the church this evening. I had a meeting and then got home and had a few emails to send and things to get done. But we're wrapping up. Uh, Mary's been uh, taking her Vertex medication and she's kind of, we got grocery pickup a couple days ago and she got kind of some high calorie snacks to take uh, with those pills and we're pressing on and I was talking with some guys at church and they're like how's it going and we're like we don't really know but uh, that's kind of how it is right now we just keep going and see what happens in the long run I realized that this cute compact pill cobbler yeah is I'm graduating from it <laughs> like I almost can't fit. oh it's too full a little bit, especially if I start putting the um, the Vertex drug in, yeah. which I wonder if I will put them in my, I'm guessing eventually I'll graduate to put them in. She's still like oh, popping them out of the little portfolio thing. Yeah, that's a that's a good chunk of pills right there. I'm gonna down it. Down it. I'm gonna do it. Do chug it, chug it, chug it. Bad idea. <laughs> I'm getting it was the water. The water choked me, not a pill. Oh man. Why is it so dark? Hey Google, turn the lights to 100 <laughs> percent There we go. <coughs> I bet I just turned on a lot of people's lights. Cheers. If you were watching that in the dark, sorry. <laughs> if you were watching that in the dark and all the lights just came on, put the little light bulb emojis. Yeah, that would be funny. I'd love to see how many people <coughs> That actually worked for. <coughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's that's our day, guys. Thanks for coming along on our journey. Did you see that lightning? It was crazy. We'll see you tomorrow. As always. Good night. Good night. We did it out of order. <laughs> that was weird. Good night, Ollie boy. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>